Hello friends. So today's cookie is actually a request. So yes, I will take requests if you have one, but the person who made this request was not aware that I'm allergic to chocolate. So I got a little creative. So the original request was for Le Petit Ecolier 70% cocoa extra dark chocolate biscuits. Um, I noticed when I was at the grocery store last time that those are actually widely available in grocery stores, but I can't eat them because they're chocolate. So I did some research and I found out that the company that makes these cookies is French and the original cookies they released were just plain cookies. And so I special ordered them online and they actually came from France. And I know this because the entire package is in French. Um, I meant to read this and translate it before I started talking, but I didn't do that and I can't, uh, I can't, what am I doing? I can't translate French that fast. I did take French, but I don't um, know that I can translate it. Okay, so anyway, plain cookies. This is what I ordered, this is what I got, and these are the actual cookies that are underneath the dark chocolate. Verified that from the internet. The problem is, I felt like if I rated just the cookie without the chocolate, it wouldn't be an accurate representation of what the request was actually for. And also in this request, it was specified that they were hoping for some cookies trending toward the le less sweet side. So fortunately for Mike, who is the requester, I have a lot of experience trying to make chocolate recipes without chocolate, because that was a hobby I had for a while. And so I got extra creative and I've got two additional options here. Conveniently, a serving size of these cookies is three. So the first one that I did is I've melted some white chocolate onto this cookie and that is because, you know, the original one uses chocolate, but white chocolate is a lot sweeter than 77% or 70% dark chocolate and since the request was specifically for less sweet cookies, I've used my other common chocolate alternative for this third one and that is peanut butter. So I've done my best here. I'm trying. I don't know what the rating is gonna be based on. If I'll do it based on all three, we'll figure it out when we get there. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start eating now. So let's start with the plain one. So it's more of a cracker texture, which I think is to be expected. It is very buttery though. Like Ritz crackers are very buttery. And there's a hint of sweetness. So I'm gonna say this is a large, sweet, denser Ritz cracker. That's what I feel like I'm eating. As a cracker, this is fantastic. I don't know that I'd call it a cookie though, unfortunately. It's too crackery. All right, let's just, let's move on to the next one. I think I'm gonna go, let's do the white chocolate one next. That's what seems right to me. Ooh. You know, that made a big difference. I didn't get it completely to the edges because I was trying not to spread all over my fingers. I think that if you buy the chocolate covered cookie, it is like dipped in chocolate, so the edges are totally covered. I don't have that here. I do like it with the white chocolate on top. That's good. Okay. Last one. Moving on to the peanut butter. I did this already, but now it just tastes like those peanut butter sandwich cookies again, or the like peanut butter sandwich crackers. I think the peanut butter kind of drowns out the sweetness that was in it 
And so now it literally just tastes like a cracker with peanut butter on it. Yeah. Nope. All right. So I actually think the plain cookie by itself was better than the one that I added peanut butter to. Because the peanut butter had too strong of a flavor and kind of just took away from everything else. It was like eating a peanut butter cracker, which is fine, but I definitely can't call it a cookie anymore. And I wouldn't, it's not like a cookie experience. So I'm gonna say that one's out. Um, the one plain by itself, again, great cracker. Great, lightly sweetened cracker. Don't know that I'd necessarily call it a cookie. But I also wasn't raised in Europe. If I were raised in Europe and had grown up eating biscuits like this, I'd probably call it a cookie. I'm pretty sure this is actually specifically for coffee. Like you're supposed to sit there and put it in your coffee or your tea. I didn't do that. Maybe I should have gotten milk. I don't know. Here we are. So I think what I'm gonna do is just rate the white chocolate version and I'm gonna finish eating it now so I can decide what the rating is. Hmm. Okay. So we know my preferences for cookies. I love cookies that are soft. This is just a different type of cookie. So I wanna try to rate it on the type of cookie this is, as opposed to like my perfect cookie, which we saw last time. So let me think about this for a minute. I'm gonna grab my scale. Oh, let me talk about my scale while I'm thinking about it. So you can't tell on the front, but I have officially magnetized the cookie scale. I am working on getting myself a new cookie. It's gonna happen. I need to go to Staples and grab um, lamination so I can laminate my new cookie. But hopefully soon there will be a cookie that's not this heart. It's already magnetized, so the cookie board is almost done and ready to go, which is very exciting. This has only been like, I don't know, I think this is number 10. Okay, <laughs> so. The cookie that I was reading, by itself, more of a cracker experience. Adding white chocolate, I think, brings out the sweetness and the butteriness of the original cookie that's plain by itself. I can imagine if it were completely covered in dark chocolate, it would be really good. I also wonder if it would help soften it a little. Just like if I'd let the white chocolate sit on it longer, I would imagine it, it would and have a slightly different texture to it. But I'm reading the white chocolate cookie that I ate not the theoretical dark chocolate cookie that I can't eat. This is gonna seem unfair because again, this is now on the same scale that I have like actual bakery fresh cookies over here. Um, and so remember not to compare this to the box cookies that I was rating before. If you were into this cookie, I think you would like it. I think my personal preferences, like it's not necessarily my cookie, it's not what I would go for if I wanted a cookie or swaying me lower. Also, the memory of the peanut butter one is swaying me lower. But I want to try to be fair to people who this is their type of cookie. So let's go ahead and give it a, a 3.9. Right there. Bam. Magnets. Okay. Also, fun fact, the table that I'm using to rate these has magnetic legs and I accidentally stuck my scale to my table earlier, so that was fun. All right. So that was... Veritable Petite Fur. I am so sorry for my French accent, I really am. I swear I took French, and it used to be better, probably. Probably not, who knows. Um, the original request was for Le Petit Ecolier 70% Cocoa extra, extra Dark Chocolate Biscuits, and these plain ones are the base of that. And I gave it a 3.9. Let me know if anyone else has any requests, and if they aren't chocolate, I'll be able to do it directly, but if not, we'll get creative and I'll make it work. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and eat more cookies.